Hi, William Hohen here for a new Villagers and Heroes poll discussion. This one is all about guilds. So take a drink, get comfortable because this is gonna be a long one. So V said, all about guilds. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high or just right? Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? Roaster, communication, etc. If so, which? So let's see what the community thinks about that. First we have Matfish. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, that is where people talk just enough for an introvert to still be comfortable. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Yes. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Meh, I don't think so. There would have to be a major change for this to work well enough to consider. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high or just right? Too high for me. I still don't know half the people in my guild that well. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? If so, which? No, those are the short answers. Of course, he will prepare a long answer tomorrow. Trust me, we're gonna see Madfish once again in this video. Now we have Haley. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, honestly, because I am. I don't know. All the cool kids are, are doing it, lol. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I'm sure someone can come up with something meaningful and fun. Like, I don't know, the devs maybe? Um, should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Uh, maybe. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high or just right? Cap's fine. If we could all be in the same village, then maybe an increase, but for now it's good. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? I'm sure others do in guild, but not I. So. Yeah, um, what did I wanted to say? Oh yeah, so villagers and heroes is handling guilds in a in in my opinion a weird way. You have uh, a village where you can live in, but it's not necessarily where your guild are. But at the same time, your village can become private, and then. It's only the people in the guild are, that are in the village. Uh, note to self, put the meme of the guy explaining conspiracy stuff here. Anyway, next. Uh, Valicia saying, are you in a guild? Yes. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Yes. Perks for guild members village members that contribute to projects like extra buffs or or something yeah some yeah i get it a buff for people that contribute in a significant way or something like that a second and third etc instance where all the guildies could be in one village instead of having to be in separate villages this will help keep uh, keep from having to double the stuff for the station's projects more ranks, guild ranks, not member ranks, but the guild itself, with a buff perk per rank. Like, rank 1 guild 10% reduced travel cost, rank 2 guild 5% increase on gathering crafting XP, rank 3 um, uh, guild 10% increase on gathering crafting XP, rank 4 guild buff for extra health mana, Rank 5 guild, 10% increase in gem drops. Should guilds have more rank options? Yes. If so, what would they entail? Easier to identify alts. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? 
too low, too high, just right, no opinion. Um, do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? Discord is a good one. Oh yeah, I know about Discord. Now we have Uza Darkstar slash Kearney. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Although not really of much use to well-established guild villages, it would be nice if the village roster listed the guild each villager, each villager was in or if they are not in a guild. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Functionally, a guild has one leader. Leaders and officers can invite, members cannot. Not sure what functionality could be added here that would warrant more ranks. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high or just right? Definitely not too high. It would be nice if we could add alts without the alts counting towards to cap total. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? Discord. Yup, I think Discord will be a popular one. Now we have Slacker. Not really in a guild. Usually just do my own thing in game. What new features for VNH I would like to see in game is a zone in a de and designed like a tavern that serves beer, beverage, foods, daily kill, gathering quest, board. Uh, not including that NPC that give repeatable kill quest for so little XP, which I haven't bothered to do for years. Same here. This is ridiculous uh, XP that this dude is giving us. And other activities that comes with this new indoor social hub zone. Could be a generic zone in form of a tavern for public or make it a guild tavern hub or both. Since not in a guild, I don't feel the need to answer other guild-related question. Well, thanks. Um, Cosmic Kitty coming in with, are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, I love my guild. We socialize and help each other grow. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I wish there was an actual guild GUI. It's confusing for new players to understand the guild system. Yes, thank you. As it's more of a village system with a guild chat. So village-wise, I really wish there was a bulletin board that listed requirements for all current projects and allowed guild leaders to post notes. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? I think the current ranks works fine. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high or just right? I think it's fine. Would be nice if alts from the same character counted as one though. Yep, second time we're seeing this in that poll. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? Use Discord for voice chat and out of game chatting. Plus where we have guides and builds posted. I have some spreadsheets as well. Okay, now we have Kaya Kitty Feathers. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? I am in two guilds on US1, one guild on US3, one guild on uh, EU1, never said that out loud honestly, one guild on EU2. This guild is just made up of US1 players. I enjoy the companionship a guild provides. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Yes, it would be nice if you could have the option of more than one leader. The guilds that I am leader of, I am actually a co-leader and sometimes it is a real pain to have to institute the things my co-leader wants done. EA, when we are cleaning out the guild list, she has to contact me with the list of who she feels needs removal. Sometimes she is the one that knows that a certain player is no longer playing. It would be nice if she could also remove or change the guild name, etc. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? 
It would be nice if they had one or two more levels. One of the best guilds I was in had four levels leader. You could have more than one leader. Officer, member, recruit. This level was kind of like the lowest level of villager in this game with some variations. This is what I think would be ideal. Leader, just like the current leader. Co-leader, can recruit, promote, add, remove, except for leader, people from the guild. Officer, can recruit people to the guild. Member, just as current member is uh, recruit, is the same as member but on guild list. Friends this tab, they are designated recruit so that members are aware they are new and can welcome and mentor them if necessary. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. I think having a larger guild than village can hold, can be helpful with the closed village cap the way it is currently. If villages became instanced, where your house is a zone of itself, this could change. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? If so, which? I have, mostly to keep track of guild members in relation to village members before guild cap was raised, so I knew who to remove to make room for another member. Mostly sticky notes or notepad. In the past I have used something like Excel to keep tracks of members, but that was pre-villagers and heroes. Um, Jolan saying, are you in a guild, why or why not? Affirmative. Rhyming Mary alone is less fun because I can't watch myself roll my own eyes at my absurdity. <laughs> All right. Uh, are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Separate guilds and villages? Totally, yeah. Housing will be instance when interiors arrive, so I would love our village of choice to be somewhere in one of the currently explored realms. Each choice would open it as quest progress, an option to dwell in Summer Solo, then Arden City, then Lake Kiwa, Mayhap Verda, Maiden, the Wizard Tower, Maracuse, Nakroe Village, etc. Each housing location might have a small perk to a villager skill and perhaps access to location-specific side quests. Then guilds could become situated centrally in Arden from a new guild district, allowing guild vaults, quests, message boards, and publicly accessible recruiting info. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, or just right? Seems about right for many guilds to add alts directly into the guild to keep chat more lively. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management, if so which? Discord. Yeah, Discord is very popular. And now we have Megan saying, are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, most of my friends are there and it gives a sense of belonging. Also fun. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I like the idea of separating guilds and villages. Add guild alt to guilds, move experience boosts and other future bonuses to be guild size based instead of depending on village size. Add the options to rent rooms in the guild hall instead of buying houses in villages. Sure, you forego the garden and ranch, but not everyone needs them. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Maybe add deputy leaders with all rights of the leader except replacing the leader. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. I think too high, but only because of the strong links between, between guilds and villages. Separate the two and it'll be okay. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? No. That's clear. And now we have Ishan saying, are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, I am. My very, my first ever friend in the game invited me to their guild and I said yes. Since, since then, I've been there and intend to stay there. It's a fun place and I love those people. 
Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Some sort of a combat boost, if going raiding or bounty hunting with guildies maybe? Could be fun and encourages guild play, but I can see the downsides like lone people disliking this, so yeah. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Yes, please, more guild officer, like ranks, maybe something just ornamental, a position that can invite but can't kick, etc. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, or just right? Nah, too high because, uh, too high, but because guilds are intrinsically linked to villages, I don't think a guild should be 120 people strong, but that's just me. I just hope they won't increase it anymore. 120 is more than enough. If a guild needs over 120 people, then at, po at that point it's an alliance. Yes, I agree. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? Nah, mate. No one got time for that. Well, Ishan, um, some other people replied to this poll and seems some have quite a bit of time to uh, manage their guilds. And now we have Sir Babo. Are you in a guild? Yes, I am in a guild in US3 named Legacy. And the reason why I am in a guild is because I am the guild leader. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I would like guild link chats to link up with other guilds. I personally think smaller guilds and larger guilds can't, uh, can find other similar like-minded guilds to have guild chats more interactive so we can more in raids, elders, playing and overall talk. Seems my oven is ready for supper. Guild all in private villages should have a permanent buff. It would replace the village system of the XP buff on certain amount of people in the village. Guild Old buff will have continued buff upgrades like Hero Villaging XP, Mana Regen buff, Vitality buff, boost to secondary stats. A notice board will be outside. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Personally, if a guild reaches 60 or more, a guild leader should be a mini mod for the game. It would be an overall benefit for the game since guild leaders have to deal with a huge amount of responsibility in good and the bad. A guild champions ones who can help in the game a lot. Officer and member, as they are, are good. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. I think the introduction of the guild cap was the worst idea since the villages are not updated to how many you can have. This is where the game never comes to the community to ask our opinion about guild updates. If the village was updated to accommodate the new 120, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been an issue. I personally favor villages to be able to upgrade as you add in more members. So if you have 70 in the guild, then village is 70. If you add one in the guild, it goes up to 71. If a person leaves, removed from the guild, it goes down to 70. Person loses the house. It would benefit villages, it would benefit private villages to have one and maintain one in the village. Do you use external platforms or app for guild management? Discord. Yep, pretty much like all the rest of us. All right, now we have Fergus. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? My characters are, but I was surprised at how incomplete the guild support is in villagers and heroes. For myself, my wife and our friends who make up the guild, guild storage has always been important, but village storage is a weak substitute. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Guild message of the day for guild news without having to manage email. Villagers needs this also. Guild description. Info about the guild, such as links to websites, Discord and other social platforms for the guild. 
Um, Guild vaults should be accessible via any of usual vaults instead of only when you in your village. Uh, roster command to dump out guild roster with name and guild rank. Optionally include class and level. Bonus points if it can be done via the friends guild window and dump it to the system clipboard. Villagers need this also. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Might be nice to have a couple more ranks for recognizing guild member contributions, roles, such as those who routinely coordinate activities. Also handy if guild vaults are added. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. There's a cap? Yup, 120. Do you use external platforms for guild management? We use Discord for voice comms, but majority of guild interaction is in game. Which is the option I prefer? Okay, now we have some saying, are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, to meet new people and make more friends. Plus, it's always great to have connections. And to be honest, I don't like villaging and we have villager. Main people, which is always nice. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I'm just gonna list the ideas I've seen here that I like. Recruiting bulletin board, guild vault, reputation system as an overall guild, though maybe I'm just competitive, guild calendar, honestly just more things to bring the people together more often. Should guilds have more rank option? Honestly it's good how it is now, might be helpful if more content for guilds is added but it's perfect at the moment. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. I think it's really great compared to what it was before, though it would be really nice if one account counted as one person instead of each tune, but yeah, I like the 120 cap. Uh, you're not alone in asking that alts don't count. Uh, do you use external platforms? Discord, and ours is very, very active. We use it a lot. Well, thanks for commenting some. All right, now we have Arcanaeum saying, are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, because it's fun. I like having friends and people in general around. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I don't have something specific in mind, but anything to promote guild members doing activities together, like stuff that make people want to do stuff with their guildies. Would be nice to have some kind of competition between guilds too. For now, guilds are just a private group, chat, and a little tag under your name. Pretty much, yes. Should guilds have more rank option? If so, what would they entail? More options is always fun, but I can't think of any new role that can be added to the current guild system. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. A bit too high? Maybe just perfect? It doesn't affect anything to have more people in your guild except the fact that you have more people, so there's no reason to consider it too high. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? Discord! As some said, it's very, very, very active. That's great to hear. All right, Ziani's turn. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, is a helpful and friendly bunch of friends. I'm also the guild leader. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Guilds should have a guild vault. Not every guild has its own village, and this would be a good option. Should guilds have more rank option? If so, what would they entail? Ranks, not really, but it would be nice if there was a male option for guild officers only. At the moment, there is a guild only and village only option. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. The cap has been doubled. Problem here is that not every guild member can have a house in one village. A option would be to also double village cap or a option to link two villages. Thinking here of a teleporter that can be linked between two villages with approval of both majors 
and when linked also to let villagers of both villages use each other's nodes vault crafting station. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? We got a discord link for the guild. Well, thank you. All right, now we have Matt Fish. Do you have something to drink? Are you well seated? Please put me on the second monitor. Well, I mean, I hope I, I'm already on your second monitor, but you know what I mean. This is gonna be, it's gonna be long. I think I'm done for the moment. Fair warning. This isn't a complete answer. Well, thank God. I just put down ideas till I got tired. And now I'm tired. LOL. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, the real re reason I joined a guild is typically in an MMO guild really enhance the player experience in various ways, though most are passive boost to experience its stuff. I stayed in a guild because no one uses village chat even though the text is prettier. I agree there, Matt. 100%. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I will list the quick ones first and save the big one for last. Custom dungeon. This can be in the village or guild. I feel like either implementation would be interesting. I personally prefer guilds as they would get the most use and entertainment value out of it. Request board. A place where guild members can make requests, like make 10 stacks of blueberry pots. There would be options to make creating a request simple and robust. Event board, a place where guild members or specified guild roles can create basic event notifications, like crafting parties, game or elder, elder run. Mail tabs checkboxes, an option added to mail that allows members of a guild to make a mail part of a list. These lists would be things like raider, officers, event attendees, where guild members could say they are part of that group and receive any mails sent to that specific group. Admittedly, this would be for a larger and more organized guild, but it would be nice to see regardless. Guild description. The option to add a description to your guild that would show up when a player looks up your guild at the board or other search feature. Guild logo, the option to create your own guild logo. Guild relations, the option to set relations to other guild. Basic re relations like allied, peaceful, rival would be fine. Uh, guild policies, the option to specify certain rules that member of your guild should follow. Implement Implementing policies within the game would be difficult at best, but perhaps this could just be something appended to the guild description that lets player know how they should act as a guild member should they wish to join. Big one, guild hall. Then he continues with themed templates. Choose from a variety of atmospheric layouts for your guild hall, ranging from dark and brooding Madoc to an underground mining facility for Dwarven, to a more stone and marble style for a Templar Order. Banner. The option to decorate a banner that will be placed at various locations throughout the hall, or in some custom locations. Floor and wall designs, interactive furniture. Stuff like we are anticipating for the house, but designed for a guild hall instead of a personal house. Um, specialized storage, multiple storage buildings or tabs that specialize in, ho in holding certain items. Organize your guild storage till your heart's content. Storage management, restrict players from taking more than a certain number of specific items or a certain number of items in general. Alternatively, Require permission or a request to be sent for approval before taking too much from the vault. 2. Allow automatic sorting by level, name, type or customized. 3. Allow searching and filtering for items by level, name or type. 4. Create separate layouts for PC and mobile. 
or a general one that adjusts depending on screen size. The idea of the storage system is to get away from the rigid grid layout of Vault and let the game automatically sort items for you so you don't have to micromanage it so much. That's appealing to me, that's for sure. Custom NPCs, NPC locations. Allow players to choose what NPCs appear in their guild hall and where they should go. If you want to go crazy, allow players to change their names, appearances, outfits and voices. Trophy Room. This is an entire discussion on its own. For now, I will say that this could be for showing off guild accomplishments or certain accomplishments of its guild members, like first to heroic, most mob kills, and so on. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? After thinking about it, I have two separate answers. The first is that given the way guilds are right now, there isn't really a need for more rank options. Perhaps the ability to assign certain powers to custom roles would help, like a recruiter who just recruits and kicks guildies. The second is that if one were to implement anything even in the same universe as what I laid out above, then there are many new roles that one could implement. As I do not want to go too deep into this before better guilds are a reality, I will just say allow for the creation of custom roles and give more options as new stuff is implemented. Just for entertainment, I will put a bunch of custom roles here and let you all decide how useful some of them would be. Raid Leader Diplomat Recruiter Event Organizer Bringer of Cakes Designated Driver Party King Queen Hermit Jester Town Crier Scapegoat <laughs> um, Yeah, well... Uh, Raid leader would probably the the most uh, useful here. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, or just right? Uh, it is too large if you have 120 distinct players. Given our current server population, even on US3, this seems to be very excessive to me. It is too small if you have 12 distinct players with 108 alts. I considered both of these points and decided that a good compromise for the time being would be somewhere around 40-60 distinct players with some modifications to how guild members are counted. In this system, I would allow alts to join, but they would not count toward the guild cap or toward any benefits requiring a certain number of players. In essence, the alt and main are treated as the same person because they are the same person. This would allow alts to join multiple guilds without restriction. They would count as one guild member in each guild they join, no matter how many alts join each one. Yeah, Matt, you're not the only one who thought of that. Uh, I'm not, you know, taking anything away from you, but... Seems it's a pretty uh, unanimous, um, how can I say, uh, desire. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? No, but my guild does. Ask V about it. I'm sure he knows what they are. My guess would be, uh, uh, let me think, uh, Discord. Yeah, probably. All right, thanks, Matt, for that content. I really appreciate it. Okay, so the last two I have here will not have made it if I made this video when I wanted to, but uh, I took like three days to do it, recorded this like um, during three different occasions um, in different places. So if the sound or my voice change from time to time, uh, well, that's that's why some some was recorded very late. When I was trying to not wake up anybody and the other one in the afternoon and so on I mean so yeah anyway Rigar is saying are you in a guild why or why not yep I originally joined the guild because I was armor spec and didn't have access to any other specs 
Now I stick around because there are good people in my guild. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? Yes, some group function only available to guilds. Guild raids, guild bosses, something like that. And I don't mean, I don't mean guild raids like your guild teams up to do woods. I mean new raids that are exclusive to guilds. Something to in incentivize folks to join guilds. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Nah, don't see a point. More rank options would require more, more guild functions. Since there aren't many... Since there aren't more guild functions, the rank are relatively meaningless. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high, just right. It's fine. Do you use external platforms or apps for guild management? We have a Discord channel where people say hi a lot. <laughs> Alright, thanks. And the last but not the least, Layla Little Nymph. Are you in a guild? Why or why not? Yes, guilds are an integral part of any good MMO. Needless to say, some do it better than others. Are there any new features you think would be useful for guilds to have? I would love to see them develop a guild hall system. It's already been talked about a great length on this thread, on this thread and I'm not going to bore you with repeating what's already been said. An addition that I would really like to see would be a reputation or ranking system for guilds. Reaching certain levels would award some cosmetic perks such as a unique nameplate, shard or uniform. The ability to link chat with an alternate or alliance guild. Most changes that I can think of would not mesh well with the current system of pri private villages. I believe that in order to build a great guild system in the game, guilds need to be separated from villages. Man, I mean bruh, this needs to end, I can't talk anymore. Should guilds have more rank options? If so, what would they entail? Yes, guild leader, same as we have. Guild officer can add and remove any player other than the guild leader. Does not have the ability to promote and demote. Recruiter, like a member but has the ability to invite add new members. Member, recruit. What are your thoughts on the current guild cap? Too low, too high or just right? There is no such thing as too large. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. If you want a smaller group, there is nothing to stop you from imposing your own cap. Having a smaller group affords the ability to have your alts in the same guild. There is no valid reason I can think of to restrict guild size to match village size. Use external platforms or apps for guild management. I've used Google Drive in the past, but do not feel a need to make use of any at this time. All right, so that was it all about guilds. You've been very vocal about it. Um, I'm not sure anybody will make it through the whole video. It's the longest I've ever made about those uh, poll discussion. But if you stayed, well, thank you. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching and bye bye.